sad day in the hydroponics greenhouse. The cucumber run is over and the plant has just about given us <laughs> every last cucumber that it could. And uh, there's, there's a few more clingers on here. There's a few more hanger oners. But this is what historically happens when the plant gets to the end of its growth cycle. And the vine really has uh, not much energy left to, um, to produce. And you get to the end of that life cycle, the cucumbers just start to get smaller. And uh, there's not much left. You can see here that the leaves start to uh, really die out. They get uh, these white spots on here. And um, the plant's just done. It's, it's given us everything it can give. And uh, we got over 130 cucumbers in the, uh, in the run. And then just to give you a sense of what was going on underneath here, those are the roots that produced all of those cucumbers. So again, not an ounce of soil down in there, just a tote filled with some water and some nutrients and making sure you keep that uh, halfway fill and keep the water in there uh, with a solution of nutrients and uh, and that's all it needed and it just made look just look in there man just ugh. just a blanket a network of roots and uh, and that produced I dropped the camera it's back <laughs> that produced all those cucumbers so I'm gonna be cutting this down and uh, that'll give me some more That'll give me some more daylight for these lettuce heads that are up in here and they're growing for the uh, the basil plants that are growing in here. I love the basil. We've got a bunch of mint. There's a lettuce plant gone crazy. And uh, this was just real surprising. This is a fresh mint bush. And we just bought that at the store for I think two or three dollars and I wish she could smell smell that when you rub that leaf uh, you put this in tea and cocoa and other things that you can put mint in it's just really amazing so that'll give us some room for the the mint the parsley up in here and uh, we'll get some sunshine on those plants in the NFT system I'm super excited about uh, this last night I brought home some uh, clippings from my friend's cherry tomato plant, which ironically I had given to him. And um, I'm going to root these and I'm going to try growing them in here in, uh, in just a few weeks coming up. And uh, the last times I have tried to root a tomato, I want you to see that's what I've gotten. And uh, when you clone a tomato sucker, this is what you get about a week later. So this was just a clipping from a, a tomato plant that I'm going to show you here in a second. And I put it in my low-pressure aeroponics cloning box here. And just take a look at what happens. You see all those little hairy roots that come off to the side at a right angle? Those are air roots. And when you, uh, from what I've been learning, when you clone it this way and you just spray the roots in the air like that, all the energy can go up into the plant. And so essentially what you have is a mature plant that's ready to start producing fruit. And that's very appealing to me because I don't want to have to grow cherry tomatoes from seeds. So I've put a series of clones in here and I've got about a half dozen of them in and I'm really hopeful that they take off because as you can see you can put just about anything in the cloning box which uh, just has some spray nozzles in there and see if you can get a peeky poo in there those little red spray nozzles spray water up onto those roots and that's enough to keep them moist enough where those roots will grow and give me a mature plant that I can turn around and then pot in one of our Dutch bucket systems that gives me uh, the last thing I wanted to keep you an update on. And these are my Dutch buckets. 
And so these are my, I think they're like Goliath Roma tomatoes. And supposedly each of these will grow to about five inches in diameter. And I've been really good this year about keeping them trimmed nice and running them up a guy line to make sure that everything is controlled. I've been in here and banging these little flowers to keep them pollinated. And I've got much more discipline in the tomato area than I did last year. You can see there's a lot more sunshine getting through and just real happy with the production that I'm getting off of these different vines. It's uh, it's worked out a lot, a lot better when I stay in charge and keep them um, keep them tamed better. So really good keeping them trained up the rope, coming back in, trimming off the suckers that would normally drain the uh, the life away from the plant. Like this little thing right here. See how that's kind of growing out of the bottom. That's not going to help my tomatoes grow. And so I'll just kind of break that off and clip it away. But all in all, so far, cucumbers, uh, 130 plus from an area the size of two totes, about six feet tall. I've got about 10 heads of lettuce and I wasn't planting more, but those will be changed. I've got a bush of mint. I've got a bush growing of parsley, another bush over there with my basil back over in the side there. And that's been a couple jars of pesto since. And then we've got the 10 containers of the Goliath Roma tomatoes getting ready to uh, start filling up. And uh, I'm super excited to see what happens when these things get big, because if the seed packet was right, they're gonna be the size of cannonballs when they're ready to harvest, and that'll be really good. Also curious to see, again, if our cherry tomatoes will root, and if so, I'm gonna get a couple more buckets. I think I'm gonna move this shelving area out of here, and I'm gonna grow two cherry tomato bushes back in the corner there, or maybe sneak them over there by the window. I'm not quite sure yet, maybe run one or two of them back over here in the corner. Cherry tomatoes are fun to grow. And uh, I'm gonna plant some more seeds for the cucumbers. We're gonna try round two and see if we can revive the Lazarus bush of cucumbers. Karen's upstairs making uh, another batch of pickles and uh, we'll get them off in the cooler and get them stored and ready for eating here in the next uh, weeks and months. So. All secure here in uh, Sector 7 and HAB 2. We're looking forward to uh, monitoring the progress of the clones. And um, I'll let you know how those uh, Goliath Roma tomatoes work out here in the next couple weeks. They should start to uh, plump right up and get red. Any questions, just send me an email. Hit me with a PM. I can let you know how to do this in your own house. You can do it in a in a living room by a sunny window. You can do it in a basement with an LED light. You can do it uh, just about anywhere. You've got access to sunlight and or a plug. And uh, just real easy, real fun. And uh, just a lot of confidence knowing you can grow your own food. And uh, you don't have to have a green thumb. You just have to have water. I'll talk to you later. Thanks again for watching the update. Bye-bye.